Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Nation RDF with a Minecraft Redstone video. In this video, I would like to show you my new build. It's like a very, very basic, like a baby um, GPU, so to say. And well, it's a GPU in some manners and whatnot, but it's not completely a GPU. But starting is of a proper CPU, I could say properly. and so yeah let's get into what made this possible in the first place and we will get into how this performs so yeah let's get into the components and the workflow of this little um, kind of GPU thing so to say so everything started with um, a little project of mine where I wanted to build a very compact and nice screen memory and I have built one and it is pretty compact if you ask me and it starts from this block and it goes up to here and of course it is 2 by 2 by how long this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 2 by 2 by 7 which gives it a 28 uh, volumetric mm, volume so yeah um, it's pretty compact if you ask me seeing what others have done previously so this when I made this I've, I felt like well let me just make it into a some kind of um, GPU where I can put some UI into it and make a fancy fancy thing out of it so here are our um, the screen is 7x7 seven seven, and there are no zero um, coordinates uh, zero coordinates are actually off screen so it's not 8, it's 7. Um, if you go here, it's one of the most interesting wirings I have made in, in quite a while actually. So yeah, um, this is uh, where the X values get gets decoded and then goes right through all the X values and this is where Y coordinates get decoded and sent to Y coordinates. So as you can see, uh, it's pretty basic actually. X is horizontal, and Y is vertical, of course. And if you go here, we have two functions. <laughs> First, plots a dot in the screen. The second, clears the screen completely. Uh, what I've been working for for a while, for one week is making each pixel toggleable, so we can clear individual pixels and what not so that will be a huge advancement in my opinion now let's get into some dot plotting if you consider that as a function um, 3 by 3 plus it right there and then we can do I don't know like this oh I, I, I hit clear I'm, I'm smart and let's do that and then we can just draw like a virtual line out of this um, decrease this by one and increase by one okay so this is the y value if you haven't actually noticed it says right here this is the x value we entered the num um, coordinates in binary so let's enter another pixel for example this pixel right here which is 3 by 3 oh hey there um, and we can just hit enter and yeah so this is actually plotting um, a line as you can see and the algorithm is present in this line algorithm I'm going to plug uh, algorithm calculator in this thing and where we ready to go I guess and let's do this and then let's decrease this by one and we can just hit enter so yeah this is pretty much oh <laughs> I fail this is pretty much how it uh, performs and now let's see how I build this screen memory all right we are back and we are just building this screen memory right here and you just get a block somewhere in your world 
and let's start building. And first, you, you want to place a block on the side of this block and carry that signal like this. And just place a torch and a piece of redstone. And you can just block that off like that. And you don't need it actually. Um, just going to carry this one over like this. And then we can make the reset for the RS no latch. And if you have noticed, this is actually an RS no latch basically. So yeah. Um. So we have to put a repeater here since it will interfere with that one. Like this, pretty easy. We go like that. Redstone dust block. Carry the signal over, and the repeater. So this is your output. And I'm just going to put this right here. And then what you do is you need actually to go here and take some glowstone. Design actually, oh, and then go like this. And you can stack this however you want. This is going to be your uh, signal, the reset signal right here. And then you can just put your pixel right here, actually. Let me build that one for you. And okay, so we have the screen memory completely done with its screen and you ne need an inverted signal for this actually this is reset this is set so we have a completely stackable board up and down and sideways and you can reset it just like so and yeah this is pretty much how it works and you can, as I said you can static stack it however you want but I have to mention the glowstone towers is not going to reach after some time and I don't know what I'm going to do about that so this is the one drawback of this design I guess and of course you could like find places like do it like this but the effic efficiency will be kinda I know, interesting you can you should be doing some trickery to get this around I don't know so yeah, this was the video for the screen memory and the startings of this GPU and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye.